Good day everyone, today I will be discussing to you the A as a congruence postulate or simply known as ASA postulate. ASA stands for the angle side angle postulate. The postulate states that if two triangles and the included side of one triangle are congruent to the corresponding sides and the included angle of another triangle, the triangles are congruent. To further understand, let's have this illustration. We have triangle L and M and triangle OPQ. Now, in our postulate, we need to have two angles and included side. Okay. Now let us find first the corresponding sides and included angle. We know that angle M corresponds to angle P. Why? Because they have the same measurement which is 90 degrees. We have the perpendicular line here. And we have a marking for MN corresponds to QP. And for the angle, angle N corresponds to angle Q. Okay. So we have angle, the included side, and the angle. Now, after getting the corresponding parts of the triangle, we can now conclude that measure or angle M is congruent to angle P. Segment MN is congruent to segment QP. And angle N is congruent to angle Q. So by a, a angle side angle postulate, we can now conclude that triangle L and M is congruent to triangle O P Q. Okay. So P Angle P corresponds to angle M. Okay, let us rewrite. Angle L corresponds to angle O. Angle N corresponds to angle Q. So it should be OQ because angle M corresponds to angle P. OQP. Okay. So triangle L and M is congruent to triangle OQP by angle side angle postulate. Now let's have some exercises regarding the ASA postulate. Now let's have exercises about our postulate, the angle, the angle postulate. Direction, write all the congruent parts of each pair of triangle. Prove that the triangles are congruent. So we have numbers one and uh, numbers one and two. So you study our illustration, then our markings. So given, we know that angle B is congruent to angle D. And side BC is congruent to side CD. Okay. Angle side. In our postulate, we need to have the angle side and angle. So we have the vertical angle theorem. Okay. Vertical angle theorem states that vertical angles are congruent. 
So angle A C B is congruent to A C B is congruent to E C D. E C D. Okay. Now after getting the angle side, an angle, we can now conclude that triangle A, B, C is congruent, congruent to triangle E, C, D. E, C, D. Check our conclusion. So, we know that A corresponds to E. A corresponds to E. B corresponds to D A B corresponds to D so it should be E D C okay that should be E D C again after writing your final answer always check if the angles of your triangle corresponds to each other now number two okay I will name it K L M N. Study our illustration and of course our markings. We know that angle K L N is congruent to angle N L M. Okay. Now, we need an included side. By re reflexive property of congruence, we know that side LN is congruent to side LN. Okay. Reflexive property of congruence. And our given, we have angle K and L. K and L is congruent to angle M N L okay. now we can now conclude that triangle K L N is congruent to triangle K corresponds to M so K corresponds to M. L L corresponds to L. Up. L then so K L N and M L N M L N okay. by angle side angle pasture. Okay. Be careful in writing your conclusion. Always check that our vertices corresponds to each or corresponds to another triangle. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.